now we are going to see how to find your midi uh, co uh, sorry quartiles for the continuous series okay so these are the steps for your q1 and these are the steps for your q3 okay so in both the q1 and q3 you going to find the cumulative frequency this is your first step okay for the next step we are going to find the first quartile item okay so how to find first quartile item n by 4 next we are going to find the third quartile item using what 3 n by 4 okay after that we are going to apply the formula so this is the formula for q1 so the formula is what q1 is equals to l plus n by 4 minus cf divided by f into i where your q1 is what first quartile l is what the lower class limit of the first quartile class okay after that what do you mean by f the frequency of the first quartile class cf is what the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the first quartile class and i is the class interval of the first quartile class this is the formula for your q3 okay so the q3 formula is l is again the lower class limit of the third quartile class f is the frequency of the third quartile class uh, cf is the cumulative frequency class presiding the third quartile class and i is what the class interval of the third class okay so we're going to solve one question based on this so this is the data calculate the quartile 1 and quartile 3 from the following data they have given us the values and the frequency okay so we're going to plot the uh, table values and the frequency the values are like 4 to 6 and the frequency for that class is what your 2 6 to 8 the frequency is 5 8 to 10 the frequency is 4 uh, your 10 to 12 the frequency is 11 again 12 to 14 the frequency is 11 likewise you have the classes and the frequencies and in the your first quartile you're going to find what the first step is to find cumulative frequency again this is what your less than cumulative frequency so first we're going to write 2 as it is okay after this you're going to add this 2 with the 5 so 2 plus 5 it is 7 7 plus 4 it is 11 11 plus 11 it is 22 22 plus 11 it is 33 33 plus 11 it is 44 44 plus 13 it is 56 like sorry 57 likewise you're going to find the less than cumulative frequency if you want to find more than cumulative frequency you can find that also okay then we're going to apply the formula to find the first quartile item now how to find the first quartile item n by 4 so your n is what for the continuous and for the discrete series your n is what the summation of frequency so the summation of this frequency is what 88 so n by 4 so 88 by 4 it is what 22 okay so you're going to find the value for what you're going to find this 22 in the cumulative frequency okay so as you can see here you are able to see the 22 so your first quartile item will lie in this class okay your first quartile item will lie in this class so for the further calculation you're going to consider this class for the calculation okay so the th 22 uh, item lie in the group of 10 to 12 okay so we're going to write the formula q1 is equals to l plus n by 4 minus cf divided by f into i so where I, l is what the lower class limit of the first quartile class so here this is your first quartile class so the lower limit is what 10 so the value of l will be what 10 n is n by 4 we already found out n by 4 that is what 22 then cf is what the cumulative frequency of the presiding class so here this is what your uh, quartile class and presiding that you have 8 to 10 class you are going to write the cumulative frequency of that class so your cf is what 11 over here then frequency of that class so 11 will be what the value for f and i is what your class interval so how to find class interval 12 minus 10 it is what <coughs> 2 so your class interval will be what 
okay so these are the given values okay then you're going to apply the value you're going to put all the values into the formula and after calculation you'll get the q1 as what 12 okay so again we're going to find the value for q3 how to find uh, q3 item 3n by 4 okay 3n by 4 means what 3 into 88 by 4 that is what 66 now where this 66 lies in this class here 66 lie okay 18 to 20 okay so <coughs> you're going to write the formula so these are the values for the uh, for this uh, q3 so l is what lower class limit that is what your 18 3n by 4 you already found out that is what your 66 then cf this the cf is what cumulative frequency of the presiding class that is what 57 then f is what the frequency of that class so frequency of that class is what 10 and i is equals to 2 that is what the interval of this class so 20 minus 18 is what 2 okay we're going to put all the values into the formula after the calculation you'll get q3 as what 19.8 then there are another concepts also so percentile and decile decile means what you're going to divide the distribution or the series into 10 equal parts okay as it is a decile it is denoted by d okay so <coughs> we got nine dividing uh, positions to be called as a what your decile okay so your uh, there are nine deciles actually so your d5 is what the it is equals to what your median okay. to compute the decile so uh, what we are going to do again same method uh, methods or steps we are going to apply as we applied for your uh, quartile or the median ok so only you are going to change uh, how you are going to divide the numbers ok so if you want to find D2 uh, the formula will be what size of uh, 2 and by 10 means what we are dividing uh, the 10 parts into what 2 ok so 2 and by 10th item ok to compute for the continuous series this is will be the formula t2 is equals to l plus 2 n by 10 minus cf in divided by f into i the uh, val uh, description of all this variable is same as your previous one ok now percentile means what we are going to divide whole distribution into 100 equal parts ok so you will get what 99 dividing position it is denoted by p so it will be like p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 till p99 ok to compute your percentile for example here we find the percentile for what p25 uh, so the size of 25 and divided by 100 item ok so for your continuous series p25 is equals to l plus 25 n divided by 100 minus cf divided by f into i okay here is the statement your p25 is what it is what your first quartile okay then p50 is equals to what your second quartile or you can call it as what your median or in decile it is considered as a p5 okay p75 is equals to your third quartile. Okay. Thank you.